guys, so today um, I thought that I'd do a review of this amazing game that I've been playing lately. And it's, it is just so great. It's, it's not very well known. Like, this developer has made, um, like, other games. You might have heard of this one called Hungry Pumpkin. It's pretty well known. So that's why I decided to do a review of a lesser known, less mainstream game called Barnyard Disco. And I, there are just so many good things about this game. I've played it. Like my friends have played it. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, I, you can't, like I would say that like all my fans and my, my friends have been like suggesting this, that I play this game and like do a let's play of it. But the thing is that I've already played this game. So, I think it'd be more appropriate to do a review. So, um, let's jump right in, shall we? Alright. So... Welcome to Farmer Pumpkin's Barnyard Disco Sing-Along. Okay, so as you can see, or as you can hear, rather, it has very good voice acting. Everything's voice acted. There's this pumpkin got a hat made out of corn uh there's a frog who does squats so i'm just going to introduce you to the characters real quick so this is a sheep it, it's okay it um it does a little tap dance this is um this i'll come back to this one this is a goat it, it winks when you click on it it like lies down so I relate strongly to this goat it's a very relatable character um you know so then there's this chicken or possibly a rooster I can't really tell but it kind of does I don't really care about it it's kind of boring there's this duck you know it's a nice character but I do have um one complaint about it. its design like I just think that um if I had designed it because just so you guys know like I haven't ever mentioned this before because I'm a very humble person I don't like to brag but I'm a game designer a character designer so like I design characters left and right every single day I'm designing a character like right now as I talk like as I play this game I'm designing a character his name is Frederick and he's beautiful so anyways um this duck he's ugly and or she I don't know what gender it is, but it's ugly, and I hate it, um, but I love it, so. And this, this is the cow. Look at her go. Look at her mosh. She's got some serious moshing skills. She's ready for the mosh pit, shaka bra. And this little asshole is the damn god horse. But I just... There's not a lot of good things I can say about this damn horse. Look at it, just strutting around like it owns the place, thinking it's better than everyone else on the farm. I just, I just hate it. Okay, the cow is the protagonist, as you can see. No, I don't want to like spoil anything. But the, the horse is definitely the antagonist. It's the main villain. And this is a pig. I don't really care about it at all. And I know that I promised to come back to, to, to this thing. I. Um, you know, I have to be honest with you, um, I know exactly what this animal is. It's, it, it's a chihuahua. Okay, it, it's a chihuahua. I would know, I have like 15 chihuahuas. My best friend's a chihuahua, actually. So anyways, um, I think I've spent a while on the introduction, so I should get right into playing it, but let's just see. And then, oh, I forgot. Did I introduce the farmer? I can't remember, but this is him. My name is farmer McPumpkin. See, he's kind of annoying at times, but he's a very pleasant guy. Look at all my lovely animals. Um. Excuse, <laughs> excuse me? Did you, did, did, he just said, he, okay, I don't want to be, like, negative, but did you hear what he just said? He just said, look at all these nuggly animals like that is profanity i will not take that kind of profanity in my barnyard in my in my farm and my farm of 
anthropomorphic pumpkins. I will not take that kind of profanity. Uh, all that aside, let's jump right in. So here's how it goes. Oh, there's the, the chihuahua. Okay, so you just... And just... This has a killer soundtrack. Like, just... I'm just gonna sit here for a minute and appreciate this music. Like, it's real moshing music. So what you do is just click on the animals that he says. Um, what, I don't see a mouse here, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. So if you get it wrong, he says something like, I don't know what he says actually, I feel like I did it wrong because I'm like really smart. And a really like adequate gamer. Oh, I didn't even hear what he said that time. Oh, that was a given. Anyone, no one could have gotten that right. Oh, no! No, not that little damn. I hate it. I hate the horse. Look at its ugly little face. Ugly big face. It's got ugly hair. <gasps> cow! I love the cow so much. Look at her mosh. Look at her go. Oh, my God. I love her. The character development. Her design, the Gucci bell that she has on, everything about her, especially, did you just say horse? I'm not going to click on it. I'm not going to give you sick bucko the satisfaction of me clicking on that horse, that asshole horse. Excuse my profanity. That, in, that, that, mm, that nugly horse. What? Chicken? Oh! No, no, oh. <laughs> so anyways, she has a Gucci, she's wearing a Gucci, where'd she go? Out of 16. Ah! Screw you! So, there's a variety of games on this site, but I think the Barnyard Disco is by far the best. And I'd have to give it a solid um, 9 out of 10, or maybe 8.5, but somewhere between 8.5 and 9 out of out of um, 10, because, you know, it's a great game, the graphics are great, it's like cutting edge technology, the, the way the game progresses, the gameplay, oh god, I just love it so much, and the character design for most of them, except for the duck and the horse, of course, they're just such good characters. Oh god, the cow alone could give this a 10 out of 10 score, but the reason that I'm rate giving it a 8.5 to 9 out of 10 score is because of the damn that damn smug little horse and, and you know pardon my french but that horse it sucks i'm i'm sorry for swearing but it sometimes it just has to be done so anyways the horse and all the profanity it's a family friendly game like for god's sake like children it's just it's always a shock to hear like you know a very bad swear suddenly just like out of the blue so that combined with the fact that the horse even exists but you know okay that's what gives it that's what stops it from being a perfect 10 out of 10 but you know every video game has to have or not every video game, but like, you know, video games, you know, they have to have their conflict. They have to have a villain. But, you know, the best kinds of villains are the kinds that you love to hate. Um, I don't find pleasure in hating the horse at all. In fact, this horse just makes me, it makes me really angry. And, you know, I'm not saying it's the worst thing on this godforsaken planet. Um... Not by a long shot, because, as everybody should know by now, Arnold from the Magic School Bus, there have been videos on this channel about him. Um, he's obviously much worse than this horse, but the horse still 
you know, really rubs me the wrong way. That's what's stopping me from giving this a perfect score. And, um, yeah, so that's everything. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I, I definitely recommend this. Um, great tunes. The cow has some serious moshing skills. Anyone who wants to learn how to mosh can, like, you know, get some skills from that cow who I love so much. So, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. And um, check back later for more videos. Thank you.